I now know almost the almost everything about VIX. I think we have now mastered because we have given our focus and concentration on one instrument only. So uh, you realize that ever since this year started, uh, this year started here. Let me just mark where this year started. This year, this year started. Uh, let me just mark. This year started. Where is the January? 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 Why right, January is here? So this year started around here. Twenty twenty two started here. Right around here. So. Is it started around there? The market was here. And if ever you were really following us for since last year, following us all, all, all every time and listening to what we've been talking about, you realize that all the, the major moves on VIX, we have been catching them. For example, uh this is just a, a a most recent move that happened this upward move we caught it uh which other move this downward move we caught it uh this one i think we caught this first one so you realize now that overall Overall, here we caught this buy. As it came down, we caught the sell. As it went up, we caught the buy. We caught the sell. Just recently, we caught the buy from here to this area. So you realize that overall, uh, V75 has been pre has presented a lot of opportunities. Uh, that we have managed to catch ever since the year started. And we also are looking forward to catching uh, all the upcoming opportunities that are going to come the rest of this year. Because we, we focus, we are simply focusing on this one instrument when it comes to synthetic indices. We don't need to trade all those other things, not because we can't trade them, but because we've just decided to focus on one thing and master that. So just recently we were in a swing buy, which was this year from here. We took this buy, I think we mentioned on the analysis, we took this swing buy from here all the way to this trend line. If you were following us, you actually can remember we spoke about this. The first target was here. Then after it breaks here like this, the next target was the trend line, which it hit then now. It's falling. So right now, currently, I'm on the daily time frame on the VIX. This is the daily time frame, and as you can see on the daily time frame, looking at market structure, this has been a downtrend, lower highs and lower lows. This has been a downtrend. But one thing that you always need to realize, whether you're in a downtrend or in an uptrend, are what we call reversal patterns. Reversal patterns are patterns that you see when, when market structure is about to shift to the opposite side. For example, this was a downtrend. When the market wants to go into an uptrend, it gives us reversal patterns before going into that uptrend. So reversal patterns, we're talking of your double bottoms. We're talking of your, 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 your united head and shoulders. We're talking of your triple bottoms. All these are reversal patterns because the market will now be reversing and shifting market structure. So this was something that we wanted to see, of which we have seen it here. We have seen it here. We actually saw a double bottom on a daily. One can even call it a, a triple bottom, but it's mainly a double bottom. So here, lower high. 
came back down, failed to make a lower low. Can you see that? Can you see that price failed to make a lower low here? So as price was failing to make a lower low there, it created a level of what? It created a level of support. Is it created that level of support? That is where we got our buys, this buys that we took here, the swing buy that we took. We took it based on that price failing to make lower lows. And actually, so this was a lower high, lower low. So that lower high now, once it was, soon as it was broken, we scaled in no highs here. We bought more. Our target now is this trend line. So right now, if you remember what we spoke about, double bottoms, whereby a double bottom always has a neckline. Double bottom, neckline here. So this neckline is the lower high, This was which was broken here, broken. So currently we're expecting a retest to this broken, lower high broken lower high retest it so basically this is a higher high because it's higher than this one higher high if it comes here higher low then it goes breaks this one higher high higher low higher high so that one now it's now a new what a new trend it's now an uptrend instead of the downtrend that we've been following so currently the trend has already changed. The trend is now an uptrend. The trend is current is now an uptrend. All we want is for mar the market to come and respect these levels, this lower high here that was broken. The market has to come back and retest it and respect that. Once it respects that around the 50% or the 61.8, we can get our entries, our buy entries there as well we can get our buy entries to continue with this new uptrend that is currently uh, formed so once we get our buys there our first target is back to the zero percent which is this new high right once we break this high mm -hmm. we know that we are going forward to make a what a higher high once we break that high we know that the market is going to make a higher high so once we break there we can even scale in more buys then market goes, comes back, goes. So it's simply a, now a continuation of an uptrend. High highs, high lows, high highs, high lows, high highs, and high lows. So currently, this is what we are seeing. Right now, we're anticipating price to retest or give us a Fibonacci retracement around the 50% and the 61.8. That's where we are currently expecting the market to come back mm -hmm. and retest it too. That level is a very, very how, key level. How do you pull your, your FIB? Is it is it from the top to the low? Because I see it's not, you're not like doing it there, like from the beginning down here up, is it? Okay, so uh, that is a good question. The FIB, the way you place it, it depends on the current market trend in an uptrend like this one where we're, where we're forming high highs and high lows your first point that you touch your first point which is your your hundred percent is always here at the low the low to the high mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the low to the high in a downtrend is the opposite is the the high to the low the high to the low like this okay i'm asking because um on there if this is a trading view yes like if you were to pull it like that it would be zero from zero to hundred you see uh -huh. so yeah so then it will mean uh, uh, on a derive or MT5, I will have to pull it from the top there to the low to, for, for it to mimic your, your levels. Yeah, I think it's just an issue of levels that you just need to correct. Maybe it's just yeah. an issue of levels. Yeah. 
that you need sure. to correct. Thank you. Thank you. So right now, currently, if ever price comes to the 50% and the 6.8, those are very, very beautiful entry, entry points. Very, very beautiful entry points uh, whenever it comes to using the Fibonacci. So we can even scale down to a lower time frame like the four hour and see some other things that we can look at and consider as well. So this is the four hour. This is the four hour. So right on the four hour, you can actually see that this swing by that we took all the way to that area, that swing by that we took actually went all the way, all the way, all the way. So now, uh, if you check now, we have some form of trend line breaks that happened there. With this trend line, trend line, trend line, trend line broken here. Can you see it? Yes. So after that breakout, what we anticipate after every breakout is always a retest. So retest of breakouts, they is it's not every time that they come back to the trend line. Sometimes they come to the trend line. Other times they don't even come to the trend line, but they come and respect the most recent broken level. For example, here, if you check this area, this area was a support. This was a support that was created. Support respected there, respected there. It's a support, right? So that being a support, now, it was broken here. Broken support. Right now, market is going back to that support, which is now a resistance. So there as well, there as well, let me just hide this film, hide this one. There as well, once we get some rejections, entries can be taken, sell entries can be taken. Our target is this area here. So it's like a zone to zone trading. You're trading from one zone to the next zone. So once we get the rejections there, entries can be taken to this area. So now, if you check even market structure, market structure here, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher high. From this higher high, market came back and broke this higher low. This was a higher low. Higher low broken to make a what? Lower low. Lower low. So what we now want is a what? A lower high. Then we enter on the lower high whether well, it's going to be here or wherever here. So we are going, we want to enter on the lower high. Once we enter on the lower high, we hold up until market goes to the next what? Lower low. So as it breaks this, this low, this, um, this low, this lower low, as it breaks this one, one can even enter more trades up until you reach the, the target, which is your next lower low lower than this one. I don't know if it's making sense. It is. Right, so we are currently having that resistance on the four hour. And we can even put another film on the four hour just to get some entries that can give us some entries for now. That can give us some entries for now. <coughs> so on the four hour, I've said that a market structure, as you have seen on the four hour, there's been a shift whereby the lower high, the higher low here was broken to make a lower low. So currently we connect the high to the low. High to the low like this. Once you connect the high, the high to the low like that, you wait now for the retracement to happen. So on the four hour, what can happen right now? The market, because right now this 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 uh, candle, current candle, it has three hours to to close. What can happen? A that's going to respect the thirty point two, or it can even come in touch here, then maybe close below here. That can happen. Once it closes below this resistance. It's an opportunity for us to enter. We sell 0% break. We sell more up until we reach our target, which is 
this area according to the daily. Are we together? Yes, we are. Right, so for our, we're currently looking at that. You can even go to one hour. You realize, that. so now when you see your time frames confluencing and they have to be saying the same, same, same thing. Once you see them saying the same thing, you have to know that that particular end that you take based on confluences of time frames, those are those are very very high probability uh, setups. When you see your 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 time frames confluencing and saying the same thing, so right now on the one hour, this is the resistance. This is the resistance. This is the resistance. So now. We now want to wait and see the reaction of price on that resistance. It's now a waiting moment now to see how price will react to that uh, resistance. So someone can even comment, let me just remove this trend line. Someone can even come and show us a different uh, perspective. We are all saying the same thing, but in different ways. We are all saying the same thing in different ways. Someone can come and draw something like this. When you draw something like this, what you're simply saying, you're simply saying we can have a possible head and shoulder whereby this is your left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Then we break the neckline, then we go. Someone can come and do this. We are all saying the same thing. We are all saying the same, same, same thing. You understand? So there's no sure. one approach. Sure. There's no one approach to, to the markets. There are always a lot of approaches that you can use to the market. So that is also another approach that one can look at it. Look at this VIX. That is also another approach that one can take and utilize on the VIX. So let's say, let's say here you don't you don't manage to you manage to miss some entries here on the rejections that might happen there. Let's say you miss entries there. If you miss entries there. The next opportunity, as I said, either it's on the 0%, once the 0% is broken, you can even enter, or you also have this trend line here. This trend line, if you go to a 30 minute, you can actually see it more clear. Touch there, first touch, second touch like this. So this trend line can also guide one for some even some of the entries as well, or the 0%. So both of the 0%, and this trend line, the entry opportunities. So it's either here, once you get the rejection, we sell, or here on the trend line, or there. So when you see what you're expecting not being met, what do you do? If you're expecting something and it doesn't happen, what do you do? What do you do if you are expecting something? Do I, I start? Well, I start. Well, on my part, I start analyzing again, trying to see if is there any other possibility. Okay. That's one. That's that's that, that's a good answer. Okay. So, whenever you see what you're expecting not happening, you don't you don't enter anything because. What you're expecting didn't happen. What you simply need to do, as you have said, is to go back and reanalyze. Is, is it if any form of manipulation or the market is doing something that I wasn't expecting? Because here, what, the market can even come and break here. That can happen. Right? So now, 
that's where flexibility comes in now. Are you able to be flexible enough to see is this a real move or it's actually it's it's it's, it's just a fake out that might be trying to confuse my setup. So you simply need to wait, take a step back and observe. Is this a, is this a fake out? How do you identify a fake out? You wait to see how the next candle is going to close. The closure of the next candle will tell you, was this a fake out or it's actually a real move. So that is it for the VIX. That is what we're currently looking at with the resistance. We're currently looking forward to some rejections around this area. Once we get those rejections, we enter. Then here on the trend line, once we break here, we also enter the 0%. We can enter as well. This level is our target. As I showed you on the daily, that is a neckline on the daily. That is a neckline on the daily. So that is that's it for the VIX. Anyone with a question? Anyone with a question? Uh, not for me. My Jude, do you have any question? Mm. No. Is it clear? Yeah, it's clear. Okay, so I it's hope. Clear. I hope so. This is the 30 minute one. Can even add uh, uh, what you call this? A 50 exponential moving average. A 50 exponential moving average. You can also add it as an additional confluence. So if you check here, it's above the market. When it's above the market, it's acting as a resistance to price. It's acting as a resistance. Here, when we were buying, when we took buys, it was acting as a what? As a support. So long it was below, it was acting as a support, support, support. Price came to the support, bounced, came back again, bounced, but came back again now and broke, retest, broken support, then you go. So right now it's acting as a resistance now. Resistance, resistance. So somewhere around there, we expect the rejection. Then we sell. Uh, let's just see how much that can give someone. Okay. Uh, from there to there. It's a decent amount of money. With the minimum lot size, if, if all goes well, with the minimum lot size, if ever someone enters upon the rejection, that will happen here. That might happen there. With the minimum lot size all the way to the target, it's actually $60. With the minimum lot size, you're risking $6 to make $60. So that's that's roughly 1 as to, here it's 1 as to 8.9. So you're risking 6 to make 60 with a minimum lot size, the minimum, 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 minimum lot size. So that's how, wow. that's how flexible VIX is, even for people with small accounts, it can even give you a, a chance and an opportunity to grow your small account. Because imagine, let's say even if, even if here you try to increase and make maybe $10 your stop loss with the minimum lot size. Let's say you make ten dollars your stop loss. You are still fine. You are still fine because you are still fine because you are giving also room for the market to to act and not take you out uh, prematurely. So sixty dollars with a minimum lot size. So the lot sizes now they now differ now according to to as for me my minimum lot size my was minimum lot sizes now. They differ now according to a person in this account. According to everyone in general, minimum lot size is 0 0.001. According to me, my own minimum lot size, the minimum minimum that I say, ah, this is my minimum lot size on, a, on an average small account that I currently have. 
small accounts that I currently have in my, in my block size is 0 0.005. So with the 0 0.005, I know that this move just from there to there, with the 0 0.005, that would be 60 times five, which is $300 with one, one if I enter one position, that would be $300. That is for a small account, small accounts that I have. If I enter one position with the 0 0.005, that would just be a simple, simple $300 just from there to here. If I decide to just enter one position. So this swing trade that we took, if you check this swing trade that we took, this swing buy, it was a very beautiful buy, this one, a very, very beautiful one. I just want you to see how much even a small account person could have even made simply by following instructions and listening when 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 we are talking. So there was the entry. One could have even entered the best on the one hour. So the target was around around that area around this area there, okay, around this area. Right, so around that area, that's where the target was. Right, so here, if you check a minimum, the minimum lot size for a small account person, after the breakout you could have entered, you could have risked $9, risking $9, just holding that trade, you could have made $159 with one position. So you just do the math Ooh. and see how far Ooh. you could have made depending on your risk now. So risking $9, making $159, just imagine. So imagine someone who took now a 0 0.005. Uh, so it's now an issue of lot size now. It's now an issue of the number of positions, all of which is determined by the equity now that one has. So the 0 0.005, it was somewhere around um, $800, just one position. $800 by simply risking $45. $45 to make $800, which is which is insane risk money, risk, uh, risk compared to the world. So that is how powerful VIX75 is. Whether you have a small account or a big account, it's flexible enough, you can do a lot of things with it. You can do a lot of things with it. You can grow a small account. Mm. With a big account, you can actually see uh, bigger rewards when trading the VIX, you actually can see good money whenever you're trading it. For example, once once you see yourself, uh, let's say consistently now maybe using 0 0.005, once you get to that level whereby maybe you are using it's at least at least 0 0.005, once your equity now allows you to use at least 0 0.005 consistently, you realize that uh, all this, whether the move is a swing move or a just a short move like this to you it will be it would be a, a good amount of money it would be good amount of money uh it would be a good amount of money honestly so that is it guys for the vix vix is so flexible that is why we focus on the vix 75 only we don't trade all those other vix 600 VIX, what, what, what. we only focus on VIX 75 because of its flexibility because of also a lot of things, a lot of factors. That is why we also have those booklets, the booklet for the VIX 75 and for the US 30. What is there in the booklet is where we now explain to you now, what is the VIX 75? What influences the VIX 75? What causes VIX 75 to move in a certain way? Everything about the VIX 75 is in that booklet. Those are booklets that if ever one can actually study that booklet and uh, follow whatever that is written there, you realize that you actually be more profitable than people who are just 
going to wait for signals or to wait for uh, sessions like this because you now be having all the information concerning the VIX on your own. You now have it in your own hands. You cannot do whatever you want with that information. A lot of things we mentioned them there, how to scale in, how to, a lot of things, a lot of things. There's always a way to scale in whenever you want to trade the VIX. Uh, we also show you how one can even um, flip their small accounts using the VIX. You understand? So a lot of things are there. Sure, sure. But some of the things, there are things that we can't just talk in public because of also the amount of true. the mm -hmm. amount of effort that was put in to find out about those things. Because these things you don't just find them out just just in one day, or it takes takes a lot, it takes a lot to know these things. So the VIX, I I I really that's why the reason why. I have advised everyone in the group uh, to focus on the VIX 75 and also on the US debt. It's because of some of the reasons that are there in the booklets, because I've told these guys VIX 75, even a lot of people, they can actually attest and testify to what I'm telling you. VIX 75 is actually good, 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 good money. There is little manipulation that happens here. Uh, it's different from the crash and boom in a very, very huge way. It's very, very different. So that is it. That is it. Uh, much we'll talk about it in the group. But so far, this is what we are currently looking at. This is what we are currently looking at. So once you see what we spoke about happening, you simply enter because you don't need to wait for for a signal because sometimes signals cannot even be given you might you might find out that the market comes here and people are sleeping but you are awake you just look at the rejection the reaction once you see the conditions being met you enter you enter you enter you don't need to wait for anyone so that is it for the big skies much we'll talk about it in the group if you have any questions should develop any questions you can even ask in the group as well we'll answer you so i hope it's thanks. all clear thanks a lot it is it is it is okay mm. my jew is it clear yes Okay, so that is it, that is it. I hope 